Hello! In this video, I'll show you how to connect Telegram with ChatGPT. I'll keep it really simple and go step by step so you can follow along. And by the end, you'll be able to send messages to a Telegram channel and get responses that have gone through ChatGPT. So you will need an OpenAI account as well as an API key. So let's get started. I'm here in Telegram and we will begin by creating a bot on our side. So we can look for Botfather, uh, which is the account that allows us to create bots. Click Start and then send the command new bot. Uh, it's going to ask us for a name. So this is the your name for it. Let's say maybe AI helper. So this doesn't have to be unique, but then we need to choose a Telegram username for it, which does need to be unique and can be long. So maybe I'll call it uh, Mikhail Codes AI Bot. Great. So now we get this, and there's an API key that I'm going to copy and will be unique for you. So keep this private and don't share it. So now we have our bot, Michael Codes. Next. Let's create a new channel. Call it what you like, ChatGPT. Uh, let's make it private. And let's add our AI bot to it. So we can open the channel, select Manage Channel, pick Administrators, click Add Administrator, and then look for our AI helper bot. We can leave the uh, permissions as default for this case. So now we have our AI helper bot in our channel as well as a subscriber. So things are now set up on the Telegram side for us to broadcast messages. So then let's jump over to actually build the integration. Here, you could do this in any coding language, have something running on a server, but I'm going to use make.com because um, it's free uh, up to scale and it works really easily and it will allow you to expand this to a whole bunch of different use cases. So I've signed up to make.com um, and I'm going to go and create a scenario. I'm going to create the starting point from all the possible uh, apps. I'm going to of course choose Telegram. We'll just need three parts for this. So we'll be listening for a message, we'll be sending it to ChatGPT, getting a response, and then passing it on. I'm going to choose Watch Updates. So it means it's going to watch this channel, and with a webhook, we're going to get the response. So we need to define a webhook uh, so that each time there's a message sent to this channel, it uh, ends up here instead of uh, at some timed interval, for example. I'm going to add one, and we're going to connect it to the account. So Telegram, and we're going to need this token. And this is the API token that we picked up earlier on. Great. So this was the API token we picked up earlier on when we created our bot in Botfather in Telegram. So now we're getting updates. Uh, we can test this um, and we do want to test it. First of all, run this module only. So this is now waiting for a response. We'll send a message and then on, in make, we'll see that it saw something. Now here, we see that it was initialized and operation was handled, and, but we want to dive in and pick out this ID. This is the ID of this particular chat, which we will need later. So open one more time. Uh, once you've sent a message, once you've been listening, open it up, look at the operation, go to the channel post chat and grab the ID, including the minus sign. And store that for later. Great. So we'll be able to use that soon. Now we need to be able to grab these messages and send them to chat GPT or somewhere else. So let's add another module, same logic as before. Let's just pick ChatGPT. So open AI. 
Great. And we will create a completion. We'll choose an account. If we haven't defined one, we'll add one. And this is where you'll need your API key and organization ID. So always keep these private. And that allows us to connect. I'm going to choose to create a chat completion. So let's say I'm having a chat with OpenAI. I'm going to pick a model, maybe the latest GBT 3.5 Turbo. So once we've picked our connection and uh, chosen our method and model, we need to pass through the message to ChatGPT. So I'll click Add Item, pick a role between System User and Assistant. I'll pick User. And then we need to tell the system where is the message content coming from. Well, it's coming from the Telegram bot message. So I can click into here, and these are all the options that are coming in a, in a, possibly from the Telegram bot. And I'm going to go down to the channel post and choose the text. So channel post text. Great. So now we're getting the message into OpenAI, it's parsing it and it's getting a result. So the final step is to send it back to our Telegram channel. So I'm going to add another module, Telegram bot, send a text message, it's going to remember my connection. And now we can make use of the chat ID we picked up in stage one with the minus i at the start. And then this tells us exactly which chat out of the millions in Telegram this message, message should be sent to. Then we fill the text. So what is this message being sent to this chat? Well, it's the response from the OpenAI ChatGPT process. So I need to pick that out. I can see in green the OpenAI choices. I'm going to go and pick choices, message, content, and leave the other options as they are. So now we have our three steps. Let's test it out. What is one plus four? See, so it's passing through, and we get a response. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, from there, you could evolve this make model in any direction, create conditionality, set it to any of these other thousands of apps that they have. But this is great for me. I can now send messages to ChatGPT, use my own API token, get this private chat, have conversations, write in Telegram, forward message to it, messages to it, whatever. Um, so this was fun. It was fun experimenting with make.com. Uh, the final step remaining then is to set this to run whenever. Uh, one way to do this, I think, is to just set scheduling on. So I'll set it to work immediately, be on, and make sure that the scenario is saved. So save changes. Now let's try that this is working. So what is the new traditional value of coconut milk? something I've been pondering today. Ah, and we get our response. And the token limit was perfect for this. Looks great. Uh, amazing. So there we go. You can set this up for yourself and uh, be creative with it. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Leave some feedback on what I should do next. And uh, don't forget to have a great day.